What's up, guys? Monte Block and Cheese Review here, and uh, today, you know, I'm I'm sorry I uh, missed last month, so I'm gonna be doing two this month to make up for it. Uh, I'll be doing one obviously right now, and then uh, later in the mid month I'll be doing another another one. But uh, right now we have Yancey's Fancy New York's Artisan Cheese, and the uh, flavor is for Fresh Killer Dill. Uh, so it's I guess dill flavored cheese but it's also cheddar cheese so it's like dill flavored cheddar cheese and uh, just to get this out of the way first thing I do like the uh, wax wrap I like that it's a very you know presentation is important to me but uh, I already cut it open with scissors as well because I tried earlier and it just it was a it was embarrassing watching me try and fumble with this for like 45 minutes so to avoid that I opened it up prematurely and uh, just I think I'm just going to take a solid bite out of it. Okay. So, it tastes a lot like... I'm not really getting as much of the cheddar. I'm really not getting anything out of this cheese. I'm sad to say that. When I first bit into it, I really got the dill. It was really in my mouth, but it wasn't, it was like, I could taste the dill, but I couldn't taste the dill. Like, it felt like it was there, but only faintly, and I didn't get that full, like, satisfaction of getting, like, the dill flavoring. It was just, like, watered-down version. And then it, and then it faded, and it came back again in the aftertaste, and I was hoping I would get it there. But I really didn't get it there either, and it... I don't know, I'm gonna try another bite and we'll see uh, how I feel about that. But it is a creamy cheese, so that is nice. I don't know if we're eating straight out, but. Uh, but yeah, there it is again. It feels like I have to work this cheese to get any of the dill flavoring out of it, which is kind of annoying. Because a lot of people aren't going to sit there rolling it around on their tongue trying to get the flavoring out of the cheese. So, that is a little bit uh, annoying, I will say. I was actually kind of disappointed with this cheese right now. Because I, I, I want to find that dill flavoring. I'm hoping that I'm just getting bad bites. So I keep going in for more. But I'm not tasting it. I just get watered down... It's just not there. I'm missing it. So, uh, yeah. I think overall I'd rate this cheese like a like a 3.5 or a 4. Just because it says it's going to be dill cheese, but you really don't get any of that. It's way more cheddar cheese. I don't know why they call it. I really don't think it deserves the name of uh, Killer Dill. Because I'm not finding any of the uh, dill that's supposed to be there. But, yeah. This is honestly just a little bit of a disappointment. It's not going to stop me from eating it because it's still a good cheddar cheese. But it's just, it, it's really disappointing. I, I would have to say I'm disappointed in this cheese more than I dislike it. I don't know if that's worse or better. But it is going to affect the rating. So, uh. Yeah, I, I think I, the 3.54 I said earlier was pretty accurate. I'm going to stick by that. But uh, let me know if you guys think I was wrong in like, the comments below. And uh, yeah, check back uh, later this month for the next video. Uh, have a good week.